All right. Hello, Libra. I hope you guys are doing well. This will be a general reading for the sign of Libra. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support. And I send it right back to you guys. With that being said, let's get to the messages. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity. What messages do you have for the sign of Libra? Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity. What messages do you have for the sign of Libra? So two came out with seven of water. Okay. Choices over in analyzing procrastination. Um, and then you have the queen of air. So brilliant experience uh, and humorous. Um, so <clears throat> now the queen of air in this uh, card depicts this woman, very ele elegant, um, Purple also royalty along with the uh, gold here. It's also a sign of royalty. So uh, people seeing you, they cherish you. They see you as high valued as well. Um, you could also uh, queen of uh, swords here. It's very intimidating. You withholding communication from someone as well. Very strategic, intelligent why are you withholding communication? You are someone who has been hurt in the past. Um, so you are guarded. You are very strategic about who you open and uh, express your emotions to. You guys have options in love. Um, so you guys are being cautious about who you choose. Right now, there is confusion there is some confusion. So you guys are just analyzing. You're being very strategic. You're allowing, this is what you're doing. You're being observed, you're observing uh, your options. You're, you're withholding communication. You're saying, let me see what they do. Let me see what they do. I'm not going to be the one to step forward. I'm not going to be the one this time to do all the action. I'm going to allow them to initiate. I'm going to allow them to open up and express themselves. Let me see what they bring to the table. You're withholding your energy, your emotions to see which one of these suitors truly love you. Because action speaks louder than words. That's what you're saying. And that's what you have learned. You guys have truly matured in the romance department. Um, and that's from having your heart broken over the years. What messages do you have for Libra? So you guys do have a soulmate connection coming in for you guys. Uh, queen of fire. So uh, um, queen of wands, uh, fire energy, Sagittarius, Aries, uh, Leo energy. But more um, intellig intelligent, exuberant, determined the queen of wands is someone who's very attractive, someone who is determined, someone who's confident, someone who inspires others as well. Now, right here, you see this crown that is shining um, from the heart chakra as well. A lot of times people think the heart is right here, but the heart is to the uh, left side of our chest um, cavity. The crown originally was only worn by people who were getting married on their wedding day. So this is telling me, for me, for this to captivate my attention, also for her to wear this red dress, 
uh, a lot of passion. Someone is very passionate about you. You guys are assessing this situation. Um, you guys are coming into union with someone. Someone has marriage on their mind. Uh, someone is getting ready to take action towards you. Um, someone, the lovers. You guys have two of cups and the lovers. A soulmate union. Wise counselor. Balance. Temperance. Uh, temperance. Um, compromise, self-control, moderation. What I'm really getting, uh, for, uh, 14, you guys have five, 14, one plus four equals five. So a significant change is coming into your love life at this time, uh, because you guys have learned the necessary lessons that you guys need to, you guys are no longer like overexerting yourself in the love department. You guys are allowing people to um I just saw it's the King of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, a new abundant beginning and love ends for you. Um something that's going to lead to a lot of growth. Okay. Let me tell you what I'm getting. There's a new beginning in love, a lot of significant changes in the love department that's about to occur for you guys. You guys have options in love. Right now, you guys are confused about who to choose. The thing is, is that I'm not getting that people are, um, it's, it's not evident, it's not obvious at this point right now because it's obvious that people are attracted to you. People find you intimidating, you guys. I mean, the people that are attracted to you, I mean, people are fine. I don't care if you guys say you're overweight, if you guys don't think you're attractive, whatever you think about yourself, it, the people that are attracted to you, they find you very attractive, okay? The Queen of Wands is someone who attracts a lot of energy. It's your confidence that is attracting these people towards you. Now you guys are coming into a soul and a soul um a soul union with someone. Uh your divine counterpart. Okay. This is leading to marriage. Okay. This is leading to marriage. This is someone who will be taking action towards you. Someone who inspires you as well. Someone who wants to see you at your highest potential. This is someone who has a lot on their plate as well. I don't care if this is a masculine. This is someone who embraces their fem uh, feminine qualities. I'm not talking about someone who's like over fem, you know, for... Uh, the women out there that's like, oh, no, uh, no, this is someone who is like, th this is someone who they are confident in themselves. They're well balanced. This person has a lot on their plate, but they're well balanced. This is a very harmonized relationship that you guys are coming into. Somebody that's very wise. Someone that you may seek guidance from. Like they could be over you at work or um, someone that may be slightly older or just very wise in general. The two of uh, cups plus the lovers. Definitely a soulmate connection. But someone that you... This is wow. Oh my God. This is insane. I mean, this is showing, it's like, if you guys are questioning um, if love is coming into your life, it's like the two of cups plus the lovers, there's no need to question this. Plus you guys have uh, the temperance card plus the hierophant. 
which both both symbolize it's like having patience yes patience is needed because things are balancing out in your life in order to bring in this relationship um that's leading to this higher level of commitment What other messages are here for you guys? heartache and loss. So the three of uh, swords. So right underneath the queen of swords, which is just confirming the heartache and loss that you guys have been through recognition and reward. So I mean, the universe three and three, the universe is just uh, acknowledging. It's like the queen of swords is someone who has been through a lot. She is someone who has been through a lot. She believes in justice and uh, being fair. She is someone who, she's a protector as well. She's a provider. She is someone who guides others. Uh, she's patient, very kind hearted, but she also, she stands up for herself. She can come across as being very stern. And it's only because of what she has been through in her life. I'm sorry, my ear. Um, had went in and out with the last reading. So, <clears throat> so the universe is uh, acknowledging that for you guys, and it's it's just acknowledging um, that you're. But this is what I'm getting. Um, that people can take you. It's it's like, uh, what is this? Um, because I'm getting um, it's this example that I'm getting where um, this woman was saying how you know uh, she was crying and it's because she comes across as being like really mean and people can be like really tough on her but she's actually really sensitive over sensitive but she comes across as um basically a bitch you know and she's not she's actually like the other ones uh the other women that were around were actually like the bitches you know she was just trying to protect herself she was actually a sweetheart she had been through so much. She was trying to protect herself. And it was like people couldn't see through it. And she just broke down, you know. And it was like people could see how sensitive she truly was in that moment. Um, and it was so genuine. And you could see, you know, how in the past she had had her guard up because she had been heartbroken over and over and over again. Wow, then you could see the mischievous uh, of the rest, you know, of the people around her. And it was just, you know, that's what I'm getting from this energy here. Okay, what messages? So I'm getting like disappointment. Um, yeah, but realizing it's like you truly did not lose anything. 
it's like you were just being guided towards your higher purpose. It's like, because you are coming into, it's like, you realize it's like three, okay, right here is just three, but then it's like six is the combination of three plus three. So it's like you're being added. It's like there's more to it. There's more to it than you see. So it's what you think you're losing, but you're actually gaining. You will come out successful. There will be victory. So it's like right now, yes, um, you may feel pain in this moment. You may feel alone, but you will come out victorious in the end. You will get the love that you're looking for, the love that you deserve. It's coming in for you guys. <clears throat> Light. There, this is the sun card in the original tarot. So some of you guys, it's like receiving the clear the clarity that you guys need. But on top of that, it's like um you guys, it's like getting a lot of attention. It's like people seeing you guys in a new light as well. Um, it, because it's like, look at how beautiful this person is. Look at all the light coming from them. So this is your soul. You know, it's like shining. Now look at how dark and dim this person is. It's like they're not even showing their face. It's because of all this sorrow that they have allowed to dim their light. Now, it's like you're seeing things in a new light. Seeing things in a new light. Very happy and content. It's like good times are ahead. The sun card, the happiest card in the deck. So, it's like... Wherever you are in your life at this moment, it's like, know for sure. If you guys are doubting, if you guys feel like nothing good is coming for you, you guys have victory and success. And to confirm it, you have the sun card. Yes. Underneath the queen of fire. So it's like to let you know. And then as I flip, flip the deck over, movement uh positive movement forward so things moving in the right direction in your life so but you're being encouraged it's like to exert confidence to focus on yourself at this moment focus on your happiness this is the time to focus on you focus on what makes you happy because it's going to exert this energy. It's like people are about to see you in this new light. And it's about to attract. It's like, imagine who is going to attract the love of their life. Is she? Whether, I don't care if you're male or female. Who is going to attract the right person? This person is going to attract a narcissist. I'm going to be honest with you. This person is going to attract the right person in their life. This person is going to attract someone who's going to use and abuse them. Someone that they're going to constantly chase after, seek their attention. This is going, this person is going to attract someone that's going to ghost and break from them. Someone that they constantly... <laughs> Because they need to heal. Now, this is what you're being asked to come into this energy. To see clearly. It's, you need to see clearly. Um, you need to focus on what makes you happy. Don't focus on any anyone else. Focus on your happiness. Because once you do that, once you realize what makes you happy, you're going to attract, you'll be where you need to be. 
and naturally the right person will come along because you'll be where you need to be for that person to come along. It's a guarantee that love is coming in and a love, higher commitment as well. If all the signs are here, it's a guarantee. Two of Cups, the lovers, Hierophant, and Temperance, balance, a well-harmonized, balanced relationship. The Sun card, victory and success as well. But right now, you guys have some healing to do. You guys are definitely grieving at this moment. Like it's, it's some form where you guys, it's insecurity, it's something going on within you guys and you guys are not attracting the right people in your life. You have your guard up and you're being asked to come into this energy. Patience and planning, material harvest. See, some of you guys, deception and envy. You have someone that is deceptive, envious in your energy that you guys have been holding on to that's been draining. It's, it's like that you guys have been partnerships and alliances. It's, it's like... You guys have been holding on to this person. You guys have been invested in this relationship. But it's like, it's time for you guys to see this person for who they truly are so that you can release this energy out of your life because it's draining the hell out of you. It's draining the hell out of you. You guys cannot attract the right person in your life with this type of energy. No. No. This is not the type of partnership you deserve. This is not the type of partnership you deserve. Right now, you guys, you're being asked to be patient, patient and planning because material abundance is coming in for you guys. There is, it's like all this you guys are asking for is coming in, but in order for you guys to manifest what you guys are desiring, it takes work, commitment, perseverance. You guys cannot expect to transformation a tower moment the foundation that you guys some of you guys okay take it as it resonates because some of you guys have built a shaky foundation that is about to crumble because some if i'm gonna tell you this the key to knowing The key to knowing, because I, I, I've been here, like I, I understand I've been here. The key to knowing that it's time for change is when you're feeling anxious, everything is just like, it feels like it's just going wrong and you keep trying to resist this change. I mean, you're crying. It's just like, it's chaotic as hell. Stop resisting the change. Sometimes we want something so bad and we're being urged to go in a new direction because there's something much better for us. You just, but just because you don't see it now, we always want the immediate. It's like we think what's right in front of us. It's like, um, because I grew up Baptist, 
um, I'm spiritual. I'm a spiritual person, but I grew up Baptist. I remember seeing like these memes, these posters, and it, it, they would have these posters of like Jesus, and it would be a little kid crying in a store. They would want this toy, and um, like it would say, "Well, if you will wait till we get home." Or, you know, there will be a bigger toy at home, but the kid wanted something that was immediate and it was less expensive. It was cheap compared to what they had in store for them. That's what I'm seeing right now. So it's like, do you want something? It's like a plastic toy where it can easily just break and come apart verse something that's worth so much more if only you put in the work be patient focus on your healing you have something amazing in store for you Overall, you guys have the Six of Pentacles here. So a well-balanced relationship is coming in for you guys. Someone that's not going to breadcrumb you. Someone that it's like the universe is trying to bring in a relationship. And it's because you guys uh, have in the past, it's over-given. It's, it's like you guys are a generous soul. You guys are the type of person that loves to give, 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 give. One thing I'm going to tell you is make sure that you guys are giving out the same energy. It's like to the people, um, like your friends and your family um, that you would give to um, someone that you want to be in a relationship with. So it's like, don't be the type of person that it's like... Um, you guys would um, buy new shoes for your girlfriend's kids, yet your children need new shoes and you haven't bought them some. Um, don't be the type of person that um, you are um, doing things for this guy you like but yet you are dissing your friends or you're dissing your uh sisters or your brothers or your own children make sure that you are given to all your relationships equally you're not pretending or you're over given to one relationship just to have this person want to be with you because that's going to come back on you because think this this is why that will come back on you the people um that like say your children are like okay um daddy bought um sarah's kids some shoes and we need shoes for school they're thinking this, you know, that's going out into the universe. You're going to be held accountable for that. Okay. So, or uh, say your kids are like, mommy um, bought Jack's um, 
some new cologne or some new shirts and we don't have this, you know, that's going out into the universe. You're going to be held accountable for that. So that's a message that I'm getting for someone. Be mindful of that, that you're making sure that you're giving to all your relationships equally. Okay. So, okay. Um, there is someone coming into your life. This King of Cups, this is someone emotionally balanced, someone who is going to put an end to um, this painful cycle in your life that you guys have been repeating. Um, this is someone that is going to, it's a well-balanced relationship that you guys are coming into, okay? I'm getting that um, there's a need. Um, um, it, it's like there's messages or So it's good news, secrets being revealed, good news. An opportunity coming in. You guys will have to make a decision about the science to take oper um, an opportunity. This is a new beginning because um, this is a fresh start. Something completely fresh that you will take action towards. Something that you are passionate about. Um, a secret desire. Finally, it's like you guys are putting yourself first. Okay. The thing is, is that you guys are finally, you guys realize um, I'm getting, it's like There's this fresh start coming into you guys' life. It's like you guys will feel this like renewed energy. Um, like this, uh, like going after new adventures. And the thing is, is that you're going to start to attract like new suitors towards you. You guys will not like be. Um, I'm getting that like initially you guys will not feel attracted or it's like it's I'm not getting that you guys will feel attracted initially towards like the options coming in towards you because it's it's going to be new to you okay but on top of this like the attention that you're getting is going to kind of make you uncomfortable as well you guys will be more focused on just balancing things out in your life. It's, it's going to be weird, okay? Now, it's still someone that you guys are focused on. Um, you're going to realize that this is not the person for you. What's funny... Um, 
because this person, you're going to realize the lack of effort this person has been putting in. Some of you guys, this, you're going to realize that this person is actually just using you financially as well. Um, that this person, um, like they, like they're demanding of people, like they, um, like this person, um, how do I explain it? They're demanding of people in the sense like they they want people to do things ooh, like they'll how am i getting it um uh like um how can i put this it it, it becomes annoying to you because you start to realize this person like you put this person on this high pedestal and then it becomes evident to you that this person is not you because you start to change your own ways. And so it's like you realize, you know, that this is not the person for you. And even though it's like you said you were done with this person, you still were dealing with them. You still allow this person to come in and out of your life. And then now you're not putting up with them anymore. And so you allow this new person to finally come in someone that's emotionally fulfilling, loving, tender towards you. And it's the end of this painful cycle you guys have been repeating in this well-balanced relationship. But this is like a neglectful person. If they have children, they don't live up to the standards of a good father or mother. It's someone that's neglectful. They like use people financially. They're lazy. They're a cheater as well. Like they'll go back and forth in relationship. Um, what they call them a couch, uh, a couch warmer, manipulator, judgmental. Like they. Um, place standards for people to live up to that they can't live up to themselves. That's what I was trying to get out. <clears throat> and so you're going to protect your energy from this person and it's going to allow this new person to come in. But initially it's like, that's because you're going to start uh, adventuring out into new things and discovering new discovering new things in your life. Once you do this, you'll realize your eyes will be open to these new energies. It's not even new energies, but things will become clear to you. And then you'll attract new things in your life. These secrets will be revealed to you. you'll begin to balance things out in your life. You'll see this person for who they truly are. Take a stand for yourself. You guys will be standing up for yourself. Okay. Let me get, I am going to need to go to this one as well. Let's see what message just come out from here. Ooh. away from what uh, no longer serves you. It's like there's a void. You guys are currently there's a void inside. Um, you guys are now learning to walk away from what no longer serves you. There's a big void inside of you that you guys have been trying to fill. Some of you guys it's like eating the wrong things drinking, partying, having sex with the wrong people. It's like the wrong relationships. 
whatever you're trying to fill this void with, it's like now you guys are finally walking away and you're moving towards the right things. What messages do you have for Libra? What messages do you have for Libra? Spirit, love, and light. What messages do you have for Libra? Two of materials. Five of materials. Yeah, there was a lack of balance that caused this caused this point in your life where there was a lack, this void, a lack of balance, this void in your life. You guys are learning to get a grip over your emotions. It's like to realize that you have more to look forward to in your life no longer looking at your life like, um, well, some of you guys, it's like you look at your life like, well, um, I only have this, so what can I do? Or I'm already this, so what can I do? It's like you're looking at your life from a state of lack, and it's like, Soon you guys will change your point of view and it will allow you to attract so much more into your life. You can't balance things out in your life when you don't think you have anything to offer or you can't acquire anything in your life. You're meant to struggle. How can you attract anything when you, when you tell yourself you're meant to struggle? in this life, that you're meant to be punished. You're telling yourself this. Whoever told you that, they're a liar. They lie to you. You're meant to be abundant. You are meant to be loved. Whoever told you that, something was wrong with them. They were lied to. And they created this void within you. It's time for you guys to heal that part and to move forward because you have something amazing coming in your life. Yeah, this definitely, um, this is, this means family. So whoever this resonates for, this is um, something that was taught from family to family. It's, it's like, some of you guys, it's like, like you weren't, um, like you were taught, you know, coming up where you weren't embraced, you know, you always felt like you had to do things to be accepted, to seek approval. So you never felt enough, like you were enough. a lack of stability. Um, not only that, a lack of stability, a lack of understanding, a lack of guidance. The reason why is because whenever, this is a repetitive cycle. So whenever you were misguided, if you were misguided by someone, that means they were misguided by someone. That means, so it's a repetitive cycle. So it's no need to... Um, be upset about the situation. 
is for you to understand that this person was misguided and that's why they misguided you in order for you to move forward. Yeah, a new beginning is coming in for you guys. I'm seeing that you guys are releasing this energy, proceeding forward, um, and a new beginning is coming in for you guys. One that's going to lead to a lot of abundance, a lot of new adventures coming into your life um, where you guys will be very happy taking a stand for yourself and realizing your worth and your true, uh, true potential. Uh, very confident. Nobody's able to tell you guys anything. You guys know your worth and you guys are standing in it confidently and attracting the right energies in your life <clears throat> on top of that there's new love coming in for whoever desires it don't be afraid to ask for help I'm a fool for you. Some of you guys, um, like it's evident, some of you guys still have someone in your energy uh, that you guys are um, still falling for this person that they're not, you know, it's, it's, and I mean, if you guys, that's the thing. Some of you guys, it's like, if you're seeking guidance, if you need help, don't be afraid to ask for the guidance, the help that you guys need. Um, also, be conscious because there are misleading people out here. So, be, you know, be mindful of who you seek guidance from as well. But there is someone that is deceitful that I'm getting that you guys are a fool for. Um but you, I'm saying that you guys will be releasing and starting a new life uh, cycle coming in for you guys. Financial security and comfort, there will be more than enough to go around. So a lot of you guys are um, coming into financial abundance. It's like if you guys are struggling financially, I am saying that you guys will be... Um, Focusing on your finances and attracting. So green is the color of stability. So you guys will be attracting um, financial um, abundance, um, stability, and it's through hard work and perseverance. So it takes action in order to attract this into your life. But along with that, a positive mindset, energy, happiness, so doing what finding finding new activities and things that you enjoy, new people. It's like if you're not around the right type of energy, uh, I forgot who said it, but um, it was this one man, this entrepreneur, um, who gives speeches, um, and he said, if you want to know what your life is going to look like within the next ten years, look around you, look at the people that you surround yourself with. That's what your life is going to look like. So if you are not surrounded around the right type of people, then how can you expect your life to evolve? It, it Sometimes you have to start over fresh. Some of you guys, there's a lack of stability in your life right now. And you may have to just do it alone until you guys attract the right people in your life. I have been through it. I had to go through a dark phase in my life where it was just me and my child. And you know what? We went to um, therapy. We went to counseling sessions. We went to the zoo by ourselves. We went to different places by ourselves. And guess what? We met amazing people along the way, people we had never met before. And you know why I did? Hey, do you want to meet up and go here? And we've been friends ever since. And they're like-minded people. 
that we have a great time with and still meet more people. And I'm happy because I don't have the same people draining my energy, but you have to move forward and trust the universe to bring the right people in your life. Or else you're gonna stay stuck out of fear because that's what you're exerting. So, Fake friend. Ooh. Ooh. That, you know what? That was fake friends, new job. Some of you guys are starting over completely new job. And it's like at the bottom, let's clear the, uh, clear the air. Um, it's deceit as well. Some people are going to come back just trying to deceive you. Um, be conscious. Vows. Some of you guys, it's like you just feel obligated. Orphan. Yeah. Abandonment issues and it's... Let me go on. So we'll get back to this. Um, I'm a, so the message that I'm getting, people have broken their, um, vows, uh, vows are commitment, um, responsibilities, uh, people have broken trust with you. You have been abandoned time and time again. I'm getting some of you guys, uh, this is stemming from fathers, uh, for the father to come out. This is going back to fathers walking out. Um, some of you guys have sisters as well, where it's like you guys have vowed to have each other's back, to be there for each other through thick and thin. But even then, it's like you feel like you are the one who who has had everyone's back, but you have been left out in the cold. You have to, you have been there for yourself alone, standing through the storms by yourself. You have felt abandoned time and time again. And so this has left you seeking um, the wrong partners being taken advantage of because you have des desperately been seeking someone to be there for you. And then so what happens is that you end up jumping into these relationships because you des desperately want someone to be there for you. You want that stability. You want that stability, that firm foundation so bad. You want it so bad and you do deserve it. You deserve it because it's not right what has happened to you. It's not right. You deserve to have the right person there for you. But the thing is, is that you have to be there for yourself. You have been there for everyone else, but you haven't been there for yourself. You haven't been there for yourself. That's the message is that you haven't been there for yourself. The thing is, is that you, you abandoned yourself as well. You have to take accountability for that. Like, you can't place the blame on everyone else. Yes, shame on them, but you also have to point the finger at yourself. I have been there too. I have been there too. I have been there too. I can relate, but... This is what we, this is where we mess up. This is where we go wrong. Is when we allow ourselves to sink into this victimhood instead of 
allowing ourselves to have the power and become the victor. So when you take your power back and allow yourself to become the victor, you did not protect yourself either. As a child, you should have been protected. Yes. As a child, you should have been protected. Moving forward, you are accountable for yourself. Hold yourself accountable for protecting yourself, okay? Protecting your energy in order to attract that stable love that you want in your life. Before it comes in, be the stable love that you want in your life. This is your message that is coming in for you. Okay. Do I surround myself with people who lift me up? You have two cards that came out, so I'm going to read both of them. The people with whom we surround ourselves determine who we become. Does your tribe fill you up? Do they inspire you? Do they believe in you? Do they help you set? Do they help you step into your greatest potential? Today's soul action make a desire list of the type of people with whom you wish to surround yourself and clarify if there is anyone in your life uh, who no longer serves you? Can you love them from a distance? So, I mean, that is confirmation. Fake friends came out for you guys. That's confirmation. That's confirmation. So, do I surround myself with people who lift me up? Comment. Is it time for you to release it's like, comment, I am now surrounding myself with people who only lift me up. Am I communicating my needs? This is confirmation because you guys are now moving forward in a positive direction. You guys are attracting this beautiful relationship in your life. It's something coming in that's magnificent. Listen up. Because if you guys, I'm telling you guys, it's some people on here that will continue to repeat the same vicious cycle because they are so stuck in the mindset that they cannot have this, they cannot have that. They have heard it all their life and that that's the only thing they believe. It's sad, but some of you guys, you know without a doubt that you deserve the best and the universe wants you to have that, but we have to work with the universe. How many times have you heard that? Now is the time to take action. I have years before allowed my life to just roll by. And finally, I started taking action in the right direction. So I understand where a lot of you are at this point. I'm telling you guys, start taking action one step at a time. It will make all the difference. The right person will come along. Some of you guys will be surprised who that person is. They could have been around you all this time. And you guys just didn't even realize because you were caught up focusing on the wrong person. Am I communicating my needs? Your needs matter. This is... Comment, my needs matter. What are you needing right now that you haven't communicated? What are you afraid of? Is it possible that what you are fearing is not true? That's the, is it possible that what you are fearing is not true? Today's soul action. 
journal these answers. What are my needs? Am I saying no and yes enough based on my desires? Are you? Do, it, do you acknowledge your desires? Do you even acknowledge yourself? Comment from now on. I acknowledge myself. I put myself first. Even if you have children, you have to put your needs first. You have to acknowledge yourself. You have to take care of yourself. If you don't take care of yourself, how can you take care of your children? If you're not taking care of your health, your needs, you can't be there for your children. You can't. If you're not healthy, you can't take care of them. That's why some parents, they're around their children. Yeah, they may be at home, but then they're on their phone all day. They're not mentally, they're clocked out because they're not taking care of themselves. It's time to clock back in. Am I telling my full truth? Do I believe that my needs matter and do I share them with others? Do you even believe your needs matter? Do you even believe you matter? Comment, I matter, my needs matter. Do I ask for what I want? When, communi when communicating my needs, what am I resisting and with whom? What do I need in order to feel safe enough to express my needs? What do you need to feel safe enough to express your needs? That's important, most of all. So, these are the messages that came through for you, Libra. If this reading resonates, leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. I definitely appreciate all the love and support, and I send it right back to you guys. Thank you so much.